Hello Beach Bums, I hope you're doing well today wherever you are in the world. Today, I'm going to walk the jetties and I'm going to be throwing a Pompano jig, which I'll show you here in a second. Looking for some Pompano. They do like to show up early in the season around structure. So I'm going to try to hit this jetty, maybe luck into a sheep's head. I did rake up a few sand fleas this morning, so I may tip the jig if I'm having trouble hooking fish with the sand flea just to kind of give it a little extra natural bait to it haven't been on the jetties in a while hopefully i don't break anything it's a little risky going out there i am going by myself so wish me luck woohoo little shaky on that one this always makes me nervous you make a bad step or you twist your ankle and there's a lot of stuff to fall on and hurt yourself so you just got to take your time Jetty walking's not always the most fun. I have come out here before in flip-flops. I had a video last year where I lost my flip-flop while I was out here. That was definitely no fun. I've got the shoes on today. Definitely makes things a lot easier. I'm starting out with just the jig. I'm not gonna put any sand fleas on here yet. And these jigs, Pompano Rigs by Couture, he makes these, that's Caleb. And the way I've got it rigged, it's got a teaser and the little loony jig deal here. And this is on 17 pound fluorocarbon and I've just got it tied with a loop knot just to give that action to that teaser and the jig itself. So we'll start out just tossing it and see if that'll be enough to hook a pompano. I'm going to go ahead and tip this teaser with one of these small sand fleas. See if that helps. I've been casting for just a little bit, not too long. When I'm throwing just the jig, I work it pretty, pretty aggressively. But with the sand flea on there, I'm going to be a lot more gentle with it. Just to try not to knock that off if possible. I've switched over to a Carolina rig and I've got just a one of these little sand fleas that I've caught on the hook here so we're gonna bottom fish for a little bit see if that changes our luck I've been throwing the jig now for about 30 minutes or so but we'll see if there's any uh, sheep's head that want a sand flea or of course pompano hanging around the jetty today okay so I've made my way out to the pier couldn't get any bites at the jetties. I've tied the pompano jig back on and I've got just a little sand flea. I'm gonna go ahead and start out tipping it with the sand flea just to, just to help increase the odds. Water is uh, pretty dirty. I walk down here to the end. Water looks a lot better out here. Um, kind of far out for pompano they might hang around out here I don't know but just going to use the jig I've got a uh, fish bite tipped on there right now and I'm going to see if there's any trout or anything that uh, would hit this jig just trying to catch a fish right now it's pretty tough today please come on please come on We got a fish. Caught a bird and a fish. Same time. And they are all coming for it. Oop, 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 oop. <laughs> wow. That was chaotic. That's actually the second bird I've caught in my line today. And this is my first fish. Got a bird and a fish on the same cast. Tiny little white trout, but that gum, we've been working hard just to find a bite today. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. He made it. Birds are going insane. Food is scarce this time of year and they are just, they are just waiting. All right, now that we got rid of the skunk, let's see if we can get some more fish. 
Sheepshead were a no-go. Pompano, no-go. Whiting are probably going okay right now, but not really looking to catch some whiting. Maybe, maybe I can find some bigger trout. That would be okay. I'd take some bigger white trout. Got a fish, probably another white trout. Uh, oh. Another small guy, but hey, we're catching fish, which today it, uh, that's tough. All right, buddy, thank you. There's a fish. Let's see. Another trout. Woo, that bird about got him. These birds are hungry. Good luck. He made it. Nice. get you past the bird decent fish oh come on come on all right oh, i got a little whiting that's uh that's a different different catch this is the southern kingfish little guy species number two see dude yep. oh oh i made it thought he swam right in the pelican's mouth This might be a little bit better. Yeah, I think that's my biggest trout of the day. Try to keep them eat, or that could be a whiting. Can't tell yet. Yeah, this is Southern. That's my biggest so far today. <laughs> Been such a struggle. See, dude, these pelicans are insane today. They are just chasing fish after fish. I took a break from this morning back on the pier. I went and got some lunch after my struggle bus morning with some white trout, which was the only thing that I could find biting. But still going to go after that pompano. That's still the goal here. So I've got the pompano jig still tied on. I'm probably going to use some of these sand fleas to see if I can hook one. I'm giving up on the pompano mission. Just gonna see if we can get a big white trout. <laughs> see if I can get like my biggest. Cause that seems to be the only thing I can find that's biting right now. So I got just a shrimp flavored fish bite on here and then uh, after I catch a small one, I might, might cut it up and use it for some cut bait. There we go. Another fish, ooh, this one feels like it's got a little weight behind him. This might be my biggest fish of the day right here. Oh, yeah, not a bad little southern. If I was keeping fish, I, I might consider keeping him. See, dude. It's like a game trying to get him past these birds. I did go ahead and cut up a little croaker. Still haven't caught a uh, trout on the fish bites yet, so went ahead and just gave in with a little croaker Ugh. there we go 
There's a decent trout. Cut bait produces. There's a good fish. Got some heavier weight on him. Oh yeah. Come on. Got to be easy coming up to the birds and then swing it by. All right. missed him the first time he came back around for it hit it pretty good aggressive hit there, oh that looks like a decent trout comparatively speaking let's bring them in nice and easy try to sneak them by the birds he's about the same size <laughs> they are so deceiving underwater everything looks bigger little guy Man, sometimes they just, when they hit, they just, they hammer it, even if they're not that big. Is this one maybe an okay one? If we can get around these birds. Get a look at them. Okay, come on. Ah, well, he's one of the bigger ones of the day. Still not as big as that first one that I'm actually using for cut bait but compared to a lot of the ones that I've caught <laughs> he's not the smallest I've been catching a ton of them oh he's about to get away but they they're just all small that's it that's all that's here oh, oh birds got that one got that one one of these pelicans has made his way up here eyeballing my bait here Okay. Okay. You got a fish, a little weight. Maybe not too much. Man, a gauntlet of birds. So you, you can catch a thousand of these fish if you wanted to. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, those fish probably, we're, we're nearing a thousand, I think. Didn't accomplish the goal today. I was really thinking that I was timing it right, catching the early spring run. I know we're still, still in winter time, but usually this time of year, those pompano are hanging close to structure. And, and I think they've been there. I think there's some days that they're there, but just it's it's real sporadic and there's really no way to, to tell because if they were if there were schools there i feel like that jig would definitely be putting a hurting on them especially tipping it with some sand fleas or and or fish bites i think that's really gonna gonna get them when they're there but um you know try, i spent a lot of time fishing today between the pier and the jetties and just nothing i mean everything i tried just wasn't working uh, this time of year, just limited on on selection of species. I mean, you've got sheep's head, black drum, whiting, and white trout, and that and that's really it. And if, if some of those aren't biting, it, I mean, you're just really reduced to what you can target. And just thought I might have a shot at catching a few pompano today, but just wasn't happening. But that, that's okay. You know, this is I I try to be real on here and just show you what it's like to try to catch fish from land saltwater fishing this time of year and just give you an idea of what that's like and what you may have to go through <laughs> to make it happen so hopefully you enjoyed the video and we we will only get better from here and it's actually been i'm not, I'm not complaining it's, it's been a really good winter uh over the last few years i've learned some things on where to fish and how to fish and catch the fish that are that are available to you this time of year 
and uh, this has been one of the better winners for fishing for me personally. So I'm not complaining. This is you know this is to be expected. This is just what it is, and just wanted to still share the day with you, even though I wasn't able to successfully complete my mission. And I will continue to try the Pompano jig, especially once the Pompano get in here real good. Definitely going to put, put more time into that this year. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And as always, you stay bummy.